Hey, are you aware about every dead Wi-Fi zone in your apartment? Powerful router is usually enough to send the signal to every corner of even private house, but I can bet that at least once in your life you saw Wi-Fi indicator on your smartphone screen, but there was no internet at all. Exactly to get rid of such dead zones, mesh systems have been created. And today I'll tell you about the one made by Asus that is called Zen Wi-Fi AC. My name is Bogdan, welcome to Techfellas. Design goes first. These two modules that come out of box are called CT8, and they don't look that high-tech, but overall are still pretty elegant. The plastic they are made of is stylized in brushed metal almost everywhere, and we can even forgive its large size as it plays significant role in proper passive ventilation and includes a set of built-in antennas placed inside at different angles and a bunch of gigabit Ethernet ports. In result, you get six ports for wired connection for just a couple of stations. Just for you to know, the most of its competitors with the same number of modules offer only three LAN interfaces. WPS key is located at the bottom of the station, as well as the reset button. Why do you need them? I think you should know already, since you decided to google exactly this device. In addition, altogether there are two USB ports, which is great not only because of their number, but also because you can place and use them in different points of the house. For example, the first station will stay closer to a printer, and the second one is near the window, so that the plugged-in LTE modem was catching network better. Among the other neat features you can do with USB, there is also a file server, shared access to the data on the storage device, and time machine. One of the greatest things about Asus AI Mesh is the easiest setup. All you need is just to come up with the username and the password for the web interface and to give the wireless network its own name. That's all, the stations look for each other by themselves without making you scratch your head too much. In the admin panel you can not only see what Zen modules are meshed in one network, but also how many clients are connected to each of the device, which is definitely cool. Why, you might ask? In most of similar systems the control panel is too much of a user-friendly and they simply do not provide dimension tracking features. And in the end you have to put trust in its automated algorithm and forget that you are the one in charge. It's also important that the network can consist not only of Zen Wi-Fi stations but also of any ASUS network devices that support AI Mesh. Thus, if you already have such router in the house but need a stable signal on the outside, you can get one CT8 station and connect it to your router rather than buying a complete set. What else about the admin panel? Actually, its capability is almost completely similar to what we saw in AC59U. There is an option to create three guest networks of any network range, a bunch of goodies for monitoring, parental control of course is here, as well as QoS, and a lot of other stuff needed either by a simple user or a mature admin. Few words about the important stuff, you can open a second 5 GHz network range. By default, it is reserved for connecting mesh points between each other and has got a pretty wide bandwidth of 1733 megabits per second, when in the standard AC we have half of it. 867 megabits per second. Memo function is also rocking here. For 2.4 GHz and the first 5 GHz range, it allows to create 2x2 pairing. And for the second 5 GHz, it is 4x4. Now I'll show you the results of the real testing. As server, we used Zephyrus S, connected to the router via Ethernet, while the other station took the role of the node that we were moving around the office, always connected to the root station via Wi-Fi. In the first case, we had kinda greenhouse conditions. We placed a client, namely MacBook Pro, together with all other devices in the same room, one meter from one of the stations. Then I went to the corridor while Mesh was still still chilling in the office. So now, between the laptop and any of Zen Wi-Fi units, there appeared concrete walls and doors that obviously affected data exchange speed. 
The third bunch of diagrams shows the case when the node fell to the place where I was before, near the stairs. And I went one floor below and hid under the stairs, adding at least 20 plus centimeters of reinforced concrete in between the client and ST8 module. And finally, the LATI module was moved to the first floor, so that it was essentially under the router, while I went outside. Considering that from the inside our office is made of metal profiles finished with drywall and from the outside is covered with steel sheeting, plus there were no direct visibility of any station. I can say that overall test results are pretty satisfying. Summarizing the stuff, Zen Wi-Fi AC is not an inexpensive toy, its price goes around 4-10 bucks. On the one hand, for the same money you can find some router with included power line, but on the other side, CT8 already has a lot of other useful things. The payer give us a bold number of LAN ports, two USB with significant range of functions. Also, don't forget about the clear admin panel that is convenient especially for pro users. What would we choose? Say, if your giant apartment makes it hard to set cabling, then I would prefer the mesh system with power line. In case you are the fan of the phrase one size fits all, it will definitely be Zen Wi-Fi. In the end, I can also add that if you are ready to settle down with the most brilliant future, you should know that Asus has got the similar mesh system, but with Wi-Fi 6 support, with AX in its naming. And this is it for today. I will leave a couple of links to the internet stores where you can buy Zen Wi-Fi AC in the description box below. And if you like this video, then why not to support our channel by subscribing to it, hitting the like button and ringing the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. My thanks for watching and cheers!